Zira. She was one of the most evil lionesses ever to exist. But have you ever wondered how did she became one of the most feared and hateful creatures, the leader of the outsiders and what brought her to become a follower of Scar? Today you're going to know the answer because, for the first time, I'm going to tell you her full story. But beware, Zira's story is dark by itself and may be disturbing for some of you. Viewer discretion is advised. We will see her starting from her childhood till how she died, passing through all the hateful acts she committed and what brought her to do so. But before we continue, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so that you will not miss any new video. And without further say, I introduce you the story of Zero. Far away in the Farlands, there was a nomad pride ruled by two leaders, Kuzimu and Azola. This group, composed by many lions, was well known for being chaotic, aggressive and evil, reason why they could never cohabit with a normal and established pride. Their rules were very different and there was no king and queen, there were leaders. Kuzimu and Azola had a daughter called Zira. Kuzimu was the strongest and the most fearsome of the pride, reason why he was the leader of it and mate of Azola. Azola was a good mother overall. She cared about her daughter, but at the same time Kuzimu used to injure and train Zira while she was still a cub, as he wanted a strong and combative daughter, with the excuse that she was going to be the leader of their group one day. He did nothing but traumatize her. Azola, who cared about Zira, started to interfere with Kuzimu's plan more and more, as she couldn't stand to see her daughter being treated like that, worse and worse every day. She did not approve any of this, and secretly consoled Zira when Kuzimu wasn't around. But he found out, and hurtless as he was, he killed her. Zira lost every emotion after that, except for depression, sadness and hate, from which was overwhelmed from now and forever. Her mother used to be her only consolation and support, but she was not there anymore. Zira was alone now. The worst thing was that every lion and adult lioness in the group, probably because of fear or long indoctrination, approved every action of Kuzimu. Except for the young lionesses of course, who were about the same age as Zira and were standing at their side. One day Zira, after convincing her three best friends to follow her, she decided to escape during the night and take care of themselves from now on. For being the heir of the throne, Zira became leader of her new group. During their whole life, they lived as nomads, stealing, lying and trying to destroy other prides, but failing every time. They were desperate and hungry, but never surrendered. Thanks to Zira's manipulative personality, her group of lionesses eventually grew in number over time. At a certain point, after many years, they started to find little to no food, but luckily for them, they stumbled across the Pride Lands. As opposed to how you would think, the Pride Lands, during this period of time, was a destroyed and barren wasteland. But seeing someone inside, they went explore anyways. Scar, who was the king of the Pride Lands during the Dark Years, welcomed Zira and the lionesses in the pride, promising them food and a good stay. The reason of this is because he saw this as an opportunity to get an heir, as he previously tried mating with a pride lander, Nala to be exact, but fortunately, he failed. 
Zero became a devoted follower of Scar. She saw him as a savior and a great leader as they both had the same mentality. Maybe they had some connection from distant ancestors, who knows. The fact is that Zero brought that devotion to an extreme, till it became literal fanatism. Scar didn't waste this opportunity and had a son with Zira, but unfortunately for him, this son was weak and useless. He was not the hair Scar wanted. This cup was Nuka. Scar ordered Zira to go mate with another lion to get a better heir. That was the only thing that he cared about. Zira, willing to do everything possible for him, she did it. She had a cub with a rogue lion, but this time it turned out to be a female. She was called Vitani. A female is not what Scar wanted. He wanted a son, a future king. This time things became difficult for them. She couldn't have a son with Scar because his genes were terrible. The rogue lion was gone long ago and it was very improbable that someone else came visit the Pridelands, as it was now an useless and not very inviting place. Their last chance was to get a son somewhere else, from someone else. Zero explored for days in the outsides till she found another pride. Without being noticed by anyone, she found a couple that have recently had a son. It was perfect for Scar's liking. She silently approached the couple of lions and suddenly killed the mother from behind, allowing her to steal the cub. Back in the Pridelands, Zira presented the cub to Scar. He was the perfect heir, and was named Kovu. There was no food anymore in the Pridelands, because of the hyenas, and as Scar asked her, Zira and her group left the Pride to go search for food. While she was away, Simba unexpectedly came back and saved the Pride, but Scar was devoured alive by the hyenas. When Zira came back, it was too late. Scar was dead. She didn't know the hyenas were the ones that killed him. She immediately supposed that Simba was the responsible. She didn't say anything and secretly plotted against Simba to avenge Scar. She took her vengeance out on Simba and Nala's firstborn, Kopa. From that moment, he had disappeared and was never found. Simba, with the heart destroyed in pieces, he banned Zira and her followers from the Pridelands. Forever. But she was not done yet. She still had to accomplish Scar's desire, which was to give the throne to his heir, Kovu. After Kovu met Kiara, Zira had the brilliant idea to use his son as an intruder, indoctrinating him his whole life so when he grew up, he could kill Simba and replace him, allowing the Outlanders to come back and take over the Pridelands. But the unexpected happened. Kovu actually ended up falling in love with Kiara, and he was now standing by their side. Zira's plan had failed. Her new plan now was to set up a trap for Simba, in order to kill him. But again, it was a failure and resulted in Nuka's death. After this, she decided to risk it all and take over the Pride by provoking a war between Pridelanders and Outlanders. Many lions of both sides died during this battle, till Kiara and Kovu showed up. Kiara and Kovu stopped the battle by standing in the middle. They opened the eyes of the Outlanders, making them finally realize that Zira manipulated them during their whole life, and made Simba understand that the Outlanders are lions, just like him. At this point, everyone, including the lionesses who followed Zira since the beginning, shifted to the Pridelanders' side. 
that precise moment, Zira, knowing that she was now alone, decided to attack Simba in order to try to kill him out of hate, even knowing she wasn't going to achieve anything by doing that. Kiara promptly jumped stopping Zira, but this caused both to roll till the edge of a cliff, where Zira was now risking to fall down in the river. Kiara, willing to forgive her, had out her hand to save her, but Zira's devotion for Scar was stronger, and she let herself fall to death. The Pride Landers were finally safe again, and now more than ever as there was no villain, and all the Outlanders and Lionesses of Zira were now part of Simba's pride. The only malicious animal left were the hyenas, who were never seen again since their banishment after Scar's death. The whole chain that started from Choyo, the selfish lion, that was passed to Scar and then to Zira, was finally broken. A chain of selfishness and evilness that affected the Pridelands and his inhabitants for generations. It was gone. But what about the original Pride of Zira? Are they still out there? And will they ever find the Pride Lands? That's an untold story. In the end, Zira's fate was clear. In part because of her childhood trauma, and also because of her close-minded and possessive personality. Despite having the opportunity to change her mind at last, Zira, who has been an evil leader her whole life, preferred to drop herself to death. And all this for the only reason of not being able to accomplish Scar's wish, which at the same time was Toyo's wish. Who is Toyo? And what was his desire? If you still don't know, I recommend you to watch my video about the Selfish Lion. It will explain you how it all started. If you have any theory or want to tell me your own story, you can do so in the comments or in my Discord server. I hope you enjoyed the video and if so, leave a like. I always appreciate it. I'm Ascari and I wish you a good night.